Hey folks, Matt from ArtOfTheImage.com. I've been getting a lot of questions in on the new rumor, the newly rumored Panasonic GH5S. At least that's the name that we're hearing in the rumor mill. Supposedly the GH5S is going to be a ultra video oriented low light camera. In other words, Panasonic's going to take the existing GH5, tweak it so it's even more video oriented, and make it so that it is even better in low light. Sounds to me like they're just differentiating the lineup similar to what other manufacturers are doing. Sony, for example. You've got various A7s, and Panasonic is honing in on various segments of their market here. The GH5, the GH4, the GH3 have always been big video cameras. Now we're looking at Panasonic taking it and basically giving us a refresh and update to the GH5 if these rumors are true, it's going to make it even better in low light, which is always welcome, especially for video. And uh, it's also going to be even more video-centered of a camera, which is quite interesting to hear because the GH5 is already an amazing video camera. So I can only imagine what new stuff they're going to pack into this thing that's going to make it that much better of a video camera for them to be saying it's going to be a video oriented or more video oriented camera now the g9 which has been announced and we've heard so much about is a low light photography killer photo camera so here we see again how this kind of fits into this lineup because the gh5 is getting a refresh going to bring it on par with, I would assume on par with anyways, the G9 as far as low light abilities. And you're going to have one that's really targeted at videographers and one that's really targeted at photographers. I imagine the GH5 will stay in the lineup for sale for a while, at least until they sell off existing stock. And they may want to look at it and see who still wants the GH5 at a lower price point versus the new GH5S, which is rumored to be at 2500 US. So it may stay in the lineup for a while in the same sense as you could still pick up a Panasonic G7, at least for now, while the G85 has been out for over a year now. So um, what do you guys think? Do you see this as what Panasonic is doing here? The GH5S, kind of a refresh of the GH5, going to give us a very very defined video camera and if you're more into photo but still want a decent video camera you go to the g9 which is our photo camera as well as as i said keeping other cameras back in the lineup like the existing gh5 does this make sense is this where you see panasonic going with this do you think these rumors aren't even true frankly i've seen enough of the rumors and heard enough internally to know that i think this gh5s is coming i think we can expect to see it but I'd like to hear your opinion on it and what Panasonic's doing here, what you think of this, this update to the GH5, what you think of it as it sits with the G9, and how do you feel about their strategy. Let us know in the comments below. Let us know what you think. And um, always excited to hear your feedback. It makes for some great discussions. Thanks for tuning in, folks. Stay tuned. We'll be back soon here at artoftheimage.com.